Hi, hello, welcome back, Bookish Besties. You may be asking why we're sitting in a different area today. Um, we're doing a bookshelf tour, and I just have to start with the small shelf over here that literally has like like these books on it. Um, the other shelf is more full than this one, so I just had to start with a small one first. Um, I've never done one of these on this channel, and this is my college dorm room, so like I'll probably redo this maybe over the summer and then um when i go back home and then i'll probably do another one when i come back to school in august um because i have the, the it, i have so many books that i probably will buy more in between now and then and so like depending on why it depends on how many you know i bring um so we'll see what happens i'm excited let's go So this is the shelf is connected to my like desk. Um, so it, it, I could have added more if I really truly wanted to, but I was like, this would just be like secondary books that I have. Um, so back here in the back, you see all that stuff. I have a paint and pour thingy that my mom got me for Christmas, and this is what this is. And then my record player is back there. I have. An art project, which is that little cube, and then my vinyls are like right here. Um, but besides from that, this is the rest of it is obviously books. Um, so I'll show you all of them because. Um, so I have King of Scars and Will of Wolves, and let me tell you, these naked hardcovers are stunning. Uh, on both of them, like absolutely jaw dropping. When I had these on the shelves at my mom's house, they were displayed like that. Um, and then I have these Van Delights and Our Violent Ends. I have not read either of those books, so I cannot tell you what they're about. But it's a duology, and then I know that Chloe Gone is releasing another uh, book. Released a book about the characters that are in these books, um, if I remember correctly. Um, one of my favorite books of all time, which is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I have read this book twice now. I read it in 2021, and then I reread it last year in 2022, and I still loved it as uh, the second time around as I did the first time around. Um, then I have the Kiss of Deception trilogy, um, which is actually comes before uh, the Ants of Thieves. So it's the Kiss of Deception, the Heart of Betrayal, and the Beauty of Darkness. Um, I have yet to read these. They are on my TBR. I just don't know when I'll get to them, you know. And then I have the three books and the um, Red Queen series by Victoria Aveyard. Now, I did have all four. But for a project, art project, I used the first one because my copy of it was falling apart. So, it's gone. But this is like my small little area with how many books? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven books. Not bad if I do say so myself. Um, so let's move on to my other shelf. Okay. This is the top of the shelf. Um, I really like how this is organized. I actually recently just reorganized this. Um, if you watch my 24-hour reading vlog that will be up before this video most likely then you know that i reorganized this recently um so my legend born shrine i have two copies of bloodmarked um this is a sound edition that has not been touched and then this is my annotated copy of it i have not yet to finish annotating it um but it is my annotation copy that i have um and then i have like i said my beautiful sound edition which will not get touched I also have like an extra little extended chapter in the back of it that I need to read. Let me see if I can find the page. Yeah. So, and then obviously my love for it all started with Legendborn. So I just have this here. It's my, these are my prize babies. Um, this uh, is my TBR cup. If you've watched my March TBR video, you know, this is what I pick my books out of which they will probably all get put back in here because 
I didn't stick to it. Uh, this is a thank you card I got with a book that I bought off of Pango. I was like, it's really cute. I like it. It's really cute and simplistic. And so I just was like, ooh, let me put it on my shelf. And so it just kind of sits here. Um, I don't know where this rock is from. I think I picked it up because it was pretty. And I was like, okay, I'll just put it on my bookshelf. And then these tarot cards my friend gave me. Because I was reading a book about tarot cards and I wanted some and she bought me these. Um, and so these are also kind of like a surprise possession. Um, I'll tell you, I have the book on my shelf, so I'll show you that book. Um, no, don't fall, please. And then right here is 70 in June, which I have yet to finish reading. It's on my 23 books in 2023, but I wanted it up here because, like, this is a book by a black author with black characters. This is a book by a black author with black characters. This is a book by a black author with black characters. So I was like, this will be my black shrine, I guess, you know? I, I, okay. Um, now, I do have a dress jacket for this. It looks the exact same, except the title is on the front of it. Um, and then the dress jacket is also reversible. So I actually bought this off of Pango, too. Um, I love this edition of it. It's a fairy little edition, so it is signed by the author herself. So, yeah. Moving on to the first shelf. So this shelf consists of obviously romance and then mostly most of it is fantasy. I'm a fantasy guy. I read purely fantasy. I mean, I, there are romance books I read from time to time to give myself a break from all this fantasy world building i put myself through but besides from that i'm a fantasy guy um so a lot of the books i have are fantasy uh i do have a couple of romance books i do want to buy to have on my shelves um i just have yet to do that so we're gonna start in this little corner right here so i have the first two addicted to you books uh they got signed by berkeley and so i plan on getting all of these covers I don't really care for the shiny covers of these. I kind of like these versions of them. So as they come out, I'll probably get them or, uh, cause some of them are already out. I just have yet to get them. And that's just cause I haven't moved on. I've only read the first one. I haven't read this yet. So I don't know if I want to continue on after this or not. So like, that's my big deal. Um, now I've read these two. Are these in the right order? I don't know. I've read these two. Uh, these are some of my favorite reads of 2023 so far. Uh, if you want to see those, I'll talk about them in my wrap-ups. I think I read one in January and I read one in February. So if you want to see those, you can go watch to my channel and watch my, like, reading wrap-ups for those months. Um, I have the whole Dirty Air series. My roommate currently has book one on her, like, thingy beside her bed right now. Um, because she wants to read it. She just hasn't yet and I'm just letting her keep it. Till she reads it or if she gives it back to me at the end of the semester that's fine too and then i decided to put a couple of my favorites here so i have the cool prince which is one of my favorite fantasy books of all time i'm i plan on rereading it and annotating it uh that's why there are already tabs in it um dance of these which i need to reread to retab it with the new tabs because these are my old tabs so it's going to get the new tabs put in here and then I have yet to reread Vow of Thieves yet, but I've read Dance of Thieves twice. But this duology is probably also one of my favorites along with The Cool Prince, but I love The Cool Prince more. Um, I read this in February. It is by Adorn of Four Corners, and I need to go and get the other books in this series because I love this book so much. Um, the author actually sent me this, so I have it right here in the front. Um, I'm so happy that I got this. It's it's also a prize possession because it's the first like author mail i've ever gotten um i read this in january there's a whole vlog on it i talk about it a little bit in my january wrap up uh jade city by finally one of my favorite books already of 2023 um so then i have beast of prey by anna gray i have yet to read this yet but i got this off of pango books and i can't wait to read it um and then i have all three books in the dr shadow magic series by V.E. Schwab. Now, these are the only V.E. Schwab books I have. Because um, I thought I would start here. Because this is, like, one of her more popular series. Um, I know there's, like, a spinoff coming from this series also later this year. Uh, that kind of I'm excited about. Just from hearing what 
these books are about and then like what those books might be about so and then I have my six of crows duology I adore six of crows with my whole being I need to reread this and then go and read this because I have yet to read it I know what happens I know the pain I have yet to watch season two yet just because I haven't read this yet um then one of my current reads is the fifth season by nk jemison i have about a hundred or so pages left in it i'm trying to finish it up this week i might mention it in my vlog that i'm doing this week because it does have a trans main character uh trans character in it so but we'll see and then on to my last shelf last shelf is kind of a mix of genres because i have a couple of like not fantasy books down here you can see my feet that's gross um but this shelf is just kind of a mix so i have Realm breaker by victoria aviard um this book is chunky and i don't know when i'm gonna read it um just because i wasn't a big fan of red queen but i haven't i like i said i've only read red queen so like i don't know um oh my god i have yet to read this but it's a stolen air by holly black i um it is the Barnum Noble exclusive edition of it, and it is gorgeous. I plan on getting another copy of it just because, like, why wouldn't I? I want the regular copy also. Um, but this one is special because it has behind the scenes of, like, what Holly Black does when she's, like, writing. And I just thought that was special, and I ordered it. I get the dust jacket back on. Um, I have yet to read it yet. That's because I just want to read the Cruel Prince trilogy before I do, so. Um, I dug in Hollow Star, which I actually started reading today for the Trans Rights Readathon because it has a non-binary, uh, main character, so I'm super excited about it. Um, I don't really know anything else about it, so. Then I have the chunky book itself, Brandon Sanderson's The Way of Kings. I actually tried to start reading this the beginning of this year but i was like i'd rather start with mistborn the way that this started off was very heavy and i was like not like in topic but like just with like everything going on there was so much going on that i was like i can't um i have the second book in the zodiac academy series i actually ordered this off of pango books i'm not gonna pull it out um and i got it second hand i kind of want to do that for all the books but if i have to buy them a new copy it's fine they'll get read and annotate it and then they'll be like i've owned them for years i have the way to give i'm um, the way you give i combine the, these two the way to blood by tiffany jackson i actually read this in february so that's in my february wrap up um i plan on rereading it because i think i read it at a bad time when i was kind of in a not like a reading mood i was kind of going into a reading slump and so i felt like that lowered my rating i also got the audiobook for it at the last minute which i feel like i would have enjoyed it more uh the hate you give by Andy thomas which i have yet to read my mom gave me this for christmas a few years ago and i just i just haven't read it then i have a magic system poison by judy thing i think it's judy lynn uh i think judy's her first name um but i have not yet read this is a duology and i if i like this i'm scared that i'll like this and won't have like the second book on hand so like that's why I haven't read it yet. So I kind of want to wait until I get the second book. But this cover is stunning. Like That's why I pulled it out. Because this cover. I absolutely love the colors in it. I love how like pastel -y it is. It just. Me as an art student. This speaks to me. As like something I would want to create. You know. And then I have Brennan Sanderson's Miss Born. Which is the first book. Um, I actually just saw my 23 books in 2023. So I will read this at some point. Hopefully. And I heard that this is a good place to start with him. So it's better than me trying to start with The Way of Kings. I thought I could be different and start with The Way of Kings. I was incorrect. And then I have my An Ember in the Ashes. Will you go in the shelf, please? Thanks. No? Okay. I'll just leave you like that. You'll just stay a little twisted. Because I don't feel like fighting right now. Um... So I have the Ember in the Ashes series. I have an Ember in the Ashes for Torch Against the Night. We brought the gates in the sky beyond the storm. Um, this is on my 23 books in 2023. I am putting it on every monthly TBR until I read it. It will get wet, I swear. 
Um, and then this is the book I was mentioning earlier when I said when I mentioned the tarot cards. Um, this book has tarot cards in it. I, if I can find a page, yeah. Uh, it's YA, but I really like it. I need to get the second and third book. I just have yet to do so, but I love this book so much. I read it at the end of 2022, and it became one of my favorites. Um, and then I have a Dark Academia book, which is The Atlas Six, which is actually another book on my 23 books I want to read in 2023. Uh, the first book is out, the second book is out, and the third book comes out later this year. But I want them all in paperback, so that's the only reason I haven't like look to get the other one and then like there's like character art i believe like in here which i didn't know before picking this up so and then we have this big chunky book which is chunkier than the way of kings and the way of Kings is 1000 pages and this is only 800 pages um but me and a friend plan to buddy read this so i have yet to read it yet so whenever she is ready to buddy read this i'll buddy read it are you still my annotation system on what i know i want to do for it if i can find it where are you we're right here so like i'm ready i'm ready to read it as soon as she's ready to read it if you know what i mean so I hope you enjoyed watching me struggle to pull some of these books out. I hope you enjoyed hearing me ramble about some of my favorites. Um, I just kind of wanted to do this to show you what books I have with me. Um, all of these are unread, um, which is a problem. I think I need to work on that. I, I mean, I've actually kind of been working on that by trying to only buy books that I like actually enjoyed and read. Because all the times I'll buy a book, not really care for it, and then regret buying it. So, like, I made myself in 2022 tell myself that, like, I can only buy books that I know. Either I know I will enjoy, like, for sure, based on the synopsis, or based on what people have told me about the book. Or, like, I've already read it, loved it, and want a physical copy to, like, annotate and own. To say I own a copy of it. Um, so... But that's all the books I have. I don't know many how many that is. There were 11 on this shelf, and there are like 20 or so maybe on this shelf. Let me count really fast. One, two, three, four. I have 51 books with me. That's crazy. I can fit, fit. It's weird as an odd number. Oh no, it's 52 because Throttle is over there. So I have 52 books in total with me at college. And then like maybe a total of other like 20 or so at like my mom's place. That's excluding the books I will be getting rid of. So like I have about 70 books-ish, uh, which I'm proud of. My collection is growing. I told myself at the end of 2023, I would like to have at least 100 books in total. We'll see if that actually happens. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy today's video i hope you enjoy seeing the books i own um and the pretty editions i own of things um i hope you have a great day evening night morning afternoon and whatever part of the world you're having it in if you like today's video give it a big thumbs up subscribe to our friends on the channel do whatever you want that's up to you um but i'm here i'm trying to get back into posting again um i'm kind of excited to be posting again so i've recorded like so many videos well, I have so many video ideas to record, so I'm super, super excited. Um, I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.